a very warm welcome to one and all to this Facebook live session on the topic Programs of School of Computer and Information Sciences of IGNO. Myself, Dr. Prasita Unnikrishnan, Assistant Director, IGNO Regional Center, Cochin, warmly welcome all of you to this Facebook live session. In fact, uh, this session is being conducted as a part of the series of promotional initiatives which are being undertaken by IGNO Regional Center Cochin as a part of the July 2022 admission cycle, which is presently ongoing. The last date for admission is 12th August. And before that, we are undertaking a series of initiatives to promote the programs which may be of interest to the learners. So today, through this Facebook live session, I would be covering few programs of the School of Computer and Information Sciences. As you all know, Indira Gandhi National Open University is one of the uh, largest central open universities of the world. It was established in the year 1985 and to impart education to the unreached and to reach out to the grassroots level. So uh, today through this Facebook live session, I will be focusing mainly on the programs of School of Computer and Information Sciences. So what are the programs on offer uh, under the school? Mainly, uh, uh, there are five programs on offer by the school. One is the Bachelor of Computer Applications. That is the BCA program. Next, you have the uh, Master of Computer Application, which is the MCA program. The Postgraduate Diploma in Computer Applications. That is the PGDCA program. The Computer and Information Technology, CIT program. The Certificate in Mobile Application Development, that is the CMAD program. So let's see uh, what are the eligibility criteria, the duration and the uh, fee structure and the, uh, and the employment quotient of these programs. To begin with, the Bachelor of Computer Application program, it's for basically for those program, uh, pro, for those aspirants who have a basic in, interest in the IT field or who want to make a career in the IT field. So the main objective of this program, in fact, is to open a channel of admission for computing courses for students who have done the 10 plus 2 and are interested in taking computer as well as IT as a career. So the eligibility criteria for the BCA program is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent and the medium of instruction is English and the duration is minimum three years and maximum you can complete your program uh, in a six years of duration. So every IGNO program has a minimum duration and a maximum duration and the maximum duration which a student gets to complete this program is six years and this as you all know IGNO admissions have basically two cycles of admission. Presently, the July cycle of admission is ongoing. Uh, we have the January and July cycle of admission and the fee structure is rupees 45,000 for the full program which need to be paid. You can pay it semester wise at the rate of rupees 7,500 per semester plus the registration fees which is rupees 300. The Master of Computer Applications, the syllabus of this uh, program has been re revised recently and hence it is called MCA New. Uh, the basic uh, eligibility criteria for this program is any student who have passed the BCA, BSc uh, in Computer Science or a BSc in IT or a BE in uh, Computer Science Engineering or has a BTEC in Computer uh, Science Engineering or a BE in the IT or a BTEC in the IT or equivalent degree or uh, the student, if uh, the aspirant does not have any of these eligibility criteria, even for any graduate degree, uh, mathematics uh, at the 10 plus 2 level or at the graduation level can opt for this MCA program. However, uh, he or she should have obtained at least minimum 50% marks, that is 45% marks in case of candidates who belong to the SCST category in the qualifying examination. In addition, the students uh, uh, are required to register and successfully complete two bridge courses that is MCS uh, uh, 201 that is programming in C and Python and MCS 208 data structures and algorithm of IGNO along with the MCA program. 
they will also be required to pay an additional fee of rupees 2000 along with the first semester fee so this criteria basically exists for those who only have a graduation degree uh, for them this additional two courses bridge courses uh, need to be undertaken along with their application so the medium of instruction of the uh, mc new program is english the duration is minimum two years and maximum five years and uh, it's offered in both january and july cycle of admissions and the fee structure is rupees twelve thousand per semester and the registration fee of rupees 300 is payable along with fee for first semester at the time of admission so the basic objective of this program is in fact to prepare graduate students for a productive careers in software industry and academia by providing an outstanding environment for teaching and research in the core and emerging areas of discipline. So students who are interested in uh, creating something new or in the IT field definitely can opt for this MCA new program of IGNO. Next, you have the postgraduate diploma in computer applications that is the PGDCA new program. The basic eligibility criteria for this program is any bachelor's degree of minimum three year duration from a recognized university uh, which has mathematics as one of the subject at the 10 plus 2 level or the graduation level means a student who wants to join this PGTCA program should be should have studied mathematics uh, as one of the subject at the 10 plus 2 level or the graduation level. Uh, or any bachelor's degree of minimum three year duration from a recognized university and even if a student does not have a mathematics background then also he or she can opt up uh, the pgdca program however these students are required to successfully complete bca 012 at the graduate level as a bridge course that means you should have uh, you should offer an additional component uh, that is bca 012 uh, while uh, for those students who do not have mathematics at the graduation on the 10 plus 2 level. The medium of instruction is English and the duration is a, a minimum 3 years and maximum 6 years. And the fee structure is 21,600 for a full program to be paid semester at the rate 10,800 per semester. Non-max students have to pay rupees 1. 1400 additional in the first semester and the registration fee of rupees 300 has to be paid in the first semester along with the program fee of the first semester the objective in fact of the pgdca program is to uh, uh, it, it prepares the student to aim for a programmer level web developer in a software company and to design and develop small business application software on lab personnel, technician in the institutions. Or uh, after completing PGDCA, one can also work as a freelancer to develop software projects. So uh, basically it is for those students who have a deep interest in the IT field and uh, who wants to create something new and also explore uh, himself or herself as a freelancer and can handle independently software projects. Then you have the Certificate in Information Technology program, which is a six-month program. And the eligibility criteria for this program is 10th pass from Microsoft or equivalent. And the medium of instruction is English. Uh, the minimum duration is six months and the maximum duration is two years. And it is offered in the both January and July cycle of admission. As far as the fee structure is concerned, the amount is rupees 6,000 for the full program plus the registration fee of rupees 300. In fact, the broad objective of the CIT program is to impart digital literacy skills covering four major topics. Uh, in fact, this program in fact covers the four major topics like computer, hardware, software, multimedia, and internet. So students uh, who do not want to have a long duration degree like that of an MC or a BCA, but quickly want to hold the basic, uh, learn about the basics of computer uh, to become a digital uh, literate person can opt for the certificate in information technology program of igno so then you have the certificate in mobile application development 
program that is the CMAD program. This is a recently launched program of IGNO and many of the students who are interested in developing new apps or processes on Android enabled phones definitely can opt for this certificate in mobile application development program for which the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 or 10 standard with two, two, two or years, three years diploma or equivalent. The medium of instruction is English and the duration is minimum six months and maximum two years offered in both January and July cycle of admission. The fee structure is rupees 5000 for the full program plus the registration fee of rupees 300. In fact, the basic objective of the CMAD program is to provide knowledge to the learners about the architectures of Android and iOS, design and implement databases for user requirements, develop mobile apps using Android, and do programming using Python. So these are some of the basic uh, objectives of the CMAD program and students who have an interest in all these areas like uh, to design and to implement databases or to create architectures of Android and iOS can definitely uh, opt for the certificate in mobile application development program, which is a newly program launched program of IGNO. So uh, these are some of the programs which are available uh, at the School of Computer and Information Sciences. I have covered all the five programs now. I'm sure our viewers who are watching this live session must have got a basic idea about these programs and the objectives of these programs. So how? How you can apply for these programs? In fact, IGNO admissions are basically online as well as through open and distance learning. So here you can see the screenshot of the open and distance learning, how you can apply in open and distance learning mode. And that is through the https igno admission.samarth.edu.in. You can go to this link and you can apply to any of the IGNO programs which are of interest to you. Next, you can also apply online for the various online programs which are on offer at IGNO. And the link for applying to the online programs is https igno iopsamarth.edu.in. So this is the screenshot which I have given for the online programs admission. So how to apply for the IGNO ODL programs? IGNO ODL programs, you can also visit our main IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in and go to register online and click on fresh admission. So in that way also, you can go to the uh, online portal of IGNO. Otherwise, you can directly go to the ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in link. So hurry up. What are you waiting for now? Definitely the last date is approaching very fast and uh, the link for the online admissions is already given. Last date is 12th of August 2022. So please hurry up and try and register for any of the uh, programs which may be of interest to you all. So I have again, in case you have any queries pertaining to the programs or the information which has been provided here, please feel free to contact us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in. I would also like to share our Facebook page, request all to kindly uh, subscribe to our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter. We have a Twitter account of Igno Regional Center Cochin, that is https twitter.com igno rc Cochin. Uh, we also have a YouTube channel of RC Cochin that is the HTTPS www.youtube.com slash C slash Igno Regional Center Cochin. Request all to kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel of our Regional Center Cochin as many educational related videos and other informative videos are also uploaded on the uh, YouTube channel of Regional Center Cochin. We also have a Regional Center Cochin website that is HTTPS uh, rccochin.igno.ac.in in which all the relevant information is uploaded. Our brochure for the uh, July 2022 admissions is also uploaded on the RC Cochin website. Request all to kindly go through our brochure on uh, which is uploaded and you get a detailed information about the programs which are on offer at IGNO Regional Center Cochin. In addition to that, you can always 
refer our main website that is https igno www.igno.ac.in and download the common prospectus of july 2022 and go through the programs which are on offer at igno and uh, apply to any of the programs which may be of interest to you so once again i am sharing the link of the online admissions that is https igno admission.summit.edu.in so thank you all once again for watching this uh, session patiently and i am sure after watching this session you would have got a basic idea about the programs which are on offer at igno especially the programs which are on offer by the school of computer and information sciences thank you all once again thank you Thank <laughs> you.